Okay, some of the special cases for notes. Again, you see three entries here. The only difference is the first one. In this case here, if we want to, companies may decide to convert accounts receivable into notes receivable. So this is a case that also goes back to the, uh, the beginning of this, today's lecture when we talked about uncollectibles. If some of the customers has passed due accounts receivable accounts, they can agree with this company to convert this accounts receivable into notes receivable, basically buying the customer more time. But they may be agreeing on to pay additional interest on this. So meaning if an accounts receivable was due September 30th, they may decide to convert this into notes receivable. They have an additional time period to collect the money to pay back to the company. But at the same time, this will start um, accumulating interest for this note. Okay, so the um, what these three entries is trying to do in the first one here, we are reducing accounts receivable and converting it into a notes receivable, $5,000. Okay, this happens because earlier there was an outstanding accounts receivable there, $5,000, and we're now switching it into notes receivable. That's what's happening in this first entry. And then the second one, again, just a regular interest um, accumulation entry, you have 5,000 times 12% of interest rate, assume it's 12%, times 42 days over 360. So this case here tells you that this note is calculated by days. It's a 60-day note. So when it reaches December 31st, we want to calculate how many days has passed in order to get to the total amount of interest. All right, so November has 31 day, uh, 30 days, so 30 minus 19, you'll get 21 days for um, November, right? I'm sorry, 11 days for November, and December you have 31 days. So 11 plus 31, you get to 42. You calculate interest 42 over 360. Now third entry, again, just like others, when we collect, when the node matures, when we collect it, will be 5,000 plus the total amount of interest. So this slide we talked about converting accounts receivable into notes receivable. Some cases in some of the companies may also do the other way around. So meaning that notes receivable also has a due date, a time frame. Now what if some of the customers do not pay notes receivable